Guys, it's coffee time and I just thought, I just woke up, that I would tell you how I feel about everything that's going on. Um, first of all, because I got on Facebook, and uh, not on Facebook, I haven't gotten on Facebook, it's just really intense, social media is really intense right now with everything that's going on and I understand. I just want to say that, yes guys, black lives matter, like what the fuck, you know? Why? Why did it have to come to this? You know what I'm saying? But I respect everything that's happening. Um, I want to point out that as a single mother, I am not going to be protesting because I just don't feel like that's the best option for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, Black lives matter. But yeah, I'm that bitch that says all lives matter because all lives matter. And please, before you cut me off or get super angry, um, listen to this. I... I agree with the protests right now. I agree with what everybody's doing because, you know what? The justice system does need reform. It does need reform. And this may be the only way we're gonna get it. So I am completely like for them. I just don't wanna participate in them because they could turn violent at any point. And I'm trying to protect my daughter. So, and I'm not saying that, um, I'm not saying that certain kind of people are violent. I'm just saying that, <clears throat> I actually think that there might be people out there trying to sabotage the cause. You know what I'm saying? The people that 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 are doing the violence, that are doing the looting and things like that, I think that those people don't really care about the cause like, like they should. You know what I'm saying? Because if they really cared, they wouldn't be trying to, to taint this cause by doing things like that. Okay? And I feel strongly about that. <clears throat> now, again, I will not be going and doing it. But the reason I say all lives matter is because... A lot of people face discrimination in different ways. Like racial discrimination is a huge deal, especially in the US and it needs to be addressed like right now. But right before this thing, these protests started breaking out, I was like following news in Puerto Rico and in Puerto Rico, there's a huge discrimination going on for transgender people, uh, especially women. Uh, so like if you used to be a man and you became a woman, men are going out and doing hate crimes and killing transgender transgender women or I don't know what the, what the proper way please forgive me I don't know the uh, politically correct way to say this but you know what I'm saying the the um, this community is also facing a lot uh oh where's my other coffee on oh, there it is they're also facing a lot of hate and a lot of discrimination and and they're scared to leave their homes too. You know, imagine being a woman in Puerto Rico <clears throat> that used to be a man and going out and somebody targeting you and, and killing you in a bathroom or something. I don't know if it was like a McDonald's bathroom and things like that. So I just want to point out that it's not just racial. It's just deep hatred for different, uh, you know, different people. It's discrimination. And it comes in all forms and sizes. And um, the last time I was on Facebook, I got off because, you know, like people are arguing, you know, I just posted something about how scared I was because the um, helicopters have been circling and, you know, people were like, there were riots and they were like destroying property and stuff here in the apartment complex, jumping the fence and like being like really disruptive and like really aggressive. And it scared me. And so I just posted something about how scared I was. And then, you know, it turned out into an argument between my friends. And so I don't like Facebook for a lot of reasons. Sometimes you can't get too personal on Facebook. People like get so angry and then they're like, unfriend me if this and unfriend me if... Listen, Linda. Linda, listen. You unfriend me if you don't like something. You know what I mean? And I will unfriend you. You don't have to tell me to do it. If I don't fucking like something, you know? But sometimes I just won't go back in there for a while. I won't even go and read the comments on my freaking post because it's like so deep. But I also want to point out that I was discriminated against for my skin. You know what I mean? People, when I, on my other channel that got deleted, might be a blessing now. People were out there calling me a tweaker and stuff because my skin was bad. And because I pick up my skin like when I'm stressed and I feel something. And I don't even have to like... Guys, I don't even have to, like, see what I'm doing. Like, I literally, like, feel something on my skin and I'll just be talking and then I'll be, like, scratching it off. Me. 100%. So weird, embarrassing, annoying me. Well, that's, like, tweaker behavior to some people. You know what I mean? And I remember, like, I went to the library. 
mind you, this other person may have been a tweet. But he's like, he's like, what happened? What happened there? What, what, what happened to your face? What did you do there? Why are you doing that? And I was like, oh my God, like, can I just walk without makeup on? Why do I have to wear makeup to cover my face if I don't want to look like a tweaker? You know what I'm saying? If I don't want to be called a tweaker, I better wear makeup. Otherwise, I'm a tweaker, even though I'm not. So, I'm not saying it's definitely 100% not the same, but it's still discrimination based on my skin. Okay, everywhere I went, I was looked at like a tweaker because I chose not to wear makeup and show my face and show my scars and show my wounds. And I chose that and so and so I was automatically a tweaker. You know what I'm saying? And so I get it guys, because black people are black and they can't hide it and that's who they are. And some people really do hate other races and minorities. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I almost feel, I feel hated on uh, as a minority because you know, even my ex-husband, freaking white male, you know, a little trust fund baby. He got his Trump bucks. Oops. And I didn't. And I am a Puerto Rican, single mother, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican. I may not look like it, but I am Puerto Rican and I haven't gotten my Trump bucks. And I probably won't get them, guys, because I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans don't deserve their Trump bucks, probably. I don't know. Um, but anyways, the point of the story is that, no, I don't know what it's like to leave my house and, and feel that kind of profiling the kind of profiling that our black community has to face. You know what I'm saying? And it's something that we have to break. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm for the protest. And again, I won't, I won't go protest. And I'm for every movement and I won't be silent. Like if I see something bad happening, I'm gonna stop. And I'm going to, to make it right if I can, if it's safe for me. And if not, I'm gonna find a way to help. Okay, and I won't be silenced that way, but I also don't, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a crowd follower, everyone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not. I hate trends like that. And so everybody I got on Instagram today and there's all these posts that are just Blackout Tuesday. Again, and I respect it, but no, you will not see me posting a Blackout Tuesday, but because I'm not a crowd follower. I'm actually, and out of respect, I'm actually not gonna post anything on Instagram today. So there will be nothing on Instagram today because since everybody is so about this, um, <clears throat> I respect it and I liked some of them, but I don't feel like liking every single post. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna l let it be. And honestly, I'm not getting on Instagram today or posting, you know what I mean? Because it's annoying to me, okay? It's annoying, I get on there I, and this is happening in the world today and I am surrounded by it. I live by the jail. I'm gonna fucking helicopters here till midnight, okay? I'm hungry, so I'm eating my my gummies. Because they have sugar in them. Anyway. Yeah. The helicopters were here a little past midnight. Circling. Spotlight. Mm-hmm. So good. Yeah, and we hear the people, and it's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's fine, but I will not be participating in that form, okay? So anyways, that's all I have to say about that, I guess. Just that we discriminate all the time, and I've done it before, and I'm not saying like in that particular way, but we discriminate, like rich and poor, like in Mexico, like if you watch novelas, there's a lot of discrimination between the rich and the poor. If you're poor in Mexico, you're like a piece of shit according to the rich people. And according to las novelas, there's always like the man that falls in love with the, the woman and she's, she's, you know, usually she's the one who doesn't have money, but sometimes the guy doesn't have money. The family is high society, alta sociedad. You know what I'm saying? So like, Discrimination is huge, huge, huge. And it comes in many forms, okay? Not just skin, but mostly skin, but not just skin is what I want to say, skin color. Because I just want to bring awareness 
right now, now that we're talking about this, now that this is like such a big deal, like bring awareness to the fact that we discriminate. We personally, all of us, in other little ways that may not be as noticeable, but still affect our community and our society in grand ways, okay? So just, you know, next time you see somebody and like they're transgender, you, you, you may not like it, okay? That's, that's, you're discriminating, you know what I mean? Like you're, you know, if you see a certain person doing a job and you don't think that certain, per you know what I mean? It's things like that, guys. It's things like that. It's our own judgment. It's our own projections. It's like we have to unlearn all these things that we've learned. And it's going to be really hard. And I'm sorry I look like shit today, but I'm not really sorry. Because this is my skin. And it is what it is. I'm not a tweaker, and that's okay. It doesn't matter what other people think. But I am OCD. Anyways, okay, thanks for listening. That's all I have to say. Guys, black lives matter, but all lives matter. And, you know, all lives matter. All lives matter. But damn it, black lives matter. And I know that that's fucked up. Like when people are like, black lives matter. And then other people are like, all lives matter. It's like, how derogatory. This is a movement and it's called the black lives matter movement. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like if we say that, it's not saying that your life doesn't matter. It's just saying black lives matter, acknowledge it. I acknowledge that black lives matter, but I also want to acknowledge that all lives fucking matter. Like I refuse to be silenced about the fact that all lives matter. Okay, my life matters as a single mother here, living where I live, okay? My daughter's life matters, your life matters. No matter what you look like and what your skin color is or what your mental health status is or if you actually are a tweaker or not, who the fuck cares if you use drugs, okay? I will say something about that too. Drugs, once you take them one time, one time, that's all you gotta do. You can become hooked forever, okay? And then you know how much people discriminate against homeless people and drug addicts and prostitutes and things, you know what I mean? You see somebody homeless and you ask, you all of a sudden think like they're just filth. Like we just discriminate and, and I have been guilty of that is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you know what I mean? Like nobody's exempt from this kind of behavior and it's not just towards a certain thing. You know what I mean? Like we all have our things that we need to work on when it comes to discrimination and judging others. So I just want to encourage everybody to start becoming aware of that behavior because we can't fix it until we become aware of it. And this is not to shame anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like we are who we are and sometimes subconsciously we act certain ways, but we just need to dig, we just need to start becoming aware and then just find the strength to start changing it little by little. And so this is this is that happening this that is happening is good because it's going to make us become aware of these things. But just know that it's not okay to say that one life matters and then go and discriminate against a different life. It's not okay. You know what I mean? Transgender people of Puerto Rico deserve to to feel safe as well. Okay, like I feel really strongly about that. You know, no matter, like, you don't. I remember when I was growing up, there was like a boy. Was he Matthew Shepard or something? I don't remember if that's his actual name, guys, but there was like a boy that got like murdered, targeted and murdered for being gay. So I just want to point out that that hatred of, you know, somebody being different and so different that it makes somebody so angry to go out and target them. That's what we need to reform completely, completely. It's not just about race. It's about the way that we're raised or something with some kind of hate or some kind of notion or some kind of thought or belief that certain people are certain ways. Like we need to break that. We need to break it. We need to break it and we need to get to, to know ourselves better and hold ourselves accountable for this shit. I'm gonna let you guys go. I talked a lot. I just wanted to let you guys know because I can't get on Instagram and do anything today and I can if I want to, but I don't. I don't want to. Who are you crying at? Oh, you wanna get on the couch? You know how to jump up on the couch. You know how to jump on the couch, buddy. Yeah.
That's what I have to say. Yeah. I'm wearing the stuff underneath, but I got chilly because I had the um, temperature set to 71 here. Like, that's one degree lighter. Lighter. One de degree, excuse me, less than I usually like it. I like it at 72. And that one little difference, degree difference, made all the difference. Don't twist it now. That's my vent for the day. It's not a bad one, guys. It does break my heart that we're having to do this, and I'm glad we're doing it. Okay. I'm glad we're doing it. Because there are some people out there that don't get it. And our justice system is flawed. Our justice system is flawed. Trust me. I just got divorced. The justice system is flawed. And the justice system does lean towards... Justice leans towards white males. It really does. Trust me, in my divorce in Norman, my judge was so disgusting to me. Richie could have done nothing wrong. It didn't matter all the mean things Richie did. Like, that judge was on his side because he is who he is and I am who I am. A crazy Puerto Rican person with skin issues. You know what I'm saying? Crazy Puerto Rican woman that could look like a tweaker. Do you think that they even gave me a chance to find out that I wasn't one? No, he just saw me. And saw that I'm a nerve, nervous wreck and saw him all stand upright in, you know, late 30s, white male. Of course, he got his way. Of course. Guys. So the justice system is flawed, okay? Okay? It is definitely, definitely, what's the word I want to say? But it definitely caters to white men. And, and, and that's for sure. So like, we've had to do this for so many things. You know what I mean? And I don't think we're, I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. I think that we have to keep bringing awareness to, to justice for minorities, women, black, Hispanic, poor people, homeless people, homeless people. I wish we would do protests like this for homeless people too. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know like, we have so many homeless people in America. It's really fucking sad how many homeless people we have, but we have a lot of fucking rich people too, you know? And like a lot of very, very rich people and then a lot of homeless people. So again, I don't wanna, I'm not trying to downsize or downplay what's happening right now. It is very important, but again, I just wanna bring awareness to the fact that we do this in so many ways that it's not just this way we don't just discriminate against black people we discriminate against a lot of people all the time we do it all the time we see somebody different and we are mean towards them or we assume that they're not as good as us and we just you know it's very sad and we need to stop and i don't know how we got programmed this way you know to think that way and I'm not gonna lie, I had to break that too because like my mom didn't let me date black guys when I was a kid. She wouldn't let me date them at all. I wasn't allowed to and I dated a couple and she didn't know about it, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't believe what she believed. But if somebody believes that so deeply and they raise you that way, imagine. And my daughter likes black boys, no. And it was hard at first, like it's been happening for a couple of years now, so I'm used to it, but it's something that I had to become self-aware, like why don't I like that? And then I had to dig deep and I'm like, oh, my mom didn't like that, but why didn't my mom like it? What's wrong with that? And then I had to like re redo my whole system, which is what I'm going to school for, you know, systems of operations, you know, and, uh, and efficiency and things like that. Um, by becoming aware of my old system, I was able to implement a new system. And the new system is better. 
and it doesn't have a color and my daughter can date whoever she wants and it doesn't matter if he's black or white or asian or hispanic it doesn't matter what he is you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with with race but there wasn't anything wrong with it but for some weird reason the first time she told me i did have a internal reaction that wasn't out loud to her but I did feel uncomfortable and I'm being completely honest with you because that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. We can't just sit here and be like, yeah, yeah, of course, you know, I love black people, but whenever your daughter tells you that they're dating somebody black and that makes you uncomfortable deep down inside, are you gonna pretend it didn't? No, it did. And then I had to find out why. And then I found out that there's no real reason and that it was stupid and it doesn't matter. And she, that's her preference, you know what I'm saying? But she's so cute. She's so cute. But you know, things like that. Things like that. So anyways, thanks for listening to this. She's a so tall and I don't hear her cry. <laughs> anyways guys, stay safe out there, okay? If you do, if you do protest, please keep it peaceful because you're not going to help bring any change to the cause if you if you prove other people if you prove other people right about their already wrong notions you know and, and that's why I think that somebody's going out there and they're trying to sabotage it you know what I'm saying because they don't want change but change is coming change is coming change is really coming so we need to adjust ourselves and we need to we need, to, we need to fix our systems, okay? We need to fix our systems and we need to start accepting people that are not like us. And we have to understand that we are unique in every single way, each and every one of us, and nobody's gonna be like us. So we can't expect people to be like us anymore. And force them, we can't force them to be like us. And we can't force ourselves to be any different either. So if you feel something and you feel like deep down inside, like I actually do have like some weird thing against people and I don't know why, just sit with yourself and look back and just think about it, you know? And you, you'll probably find that it's not really you that you were raised that way and that it's just, it's a social construct and it's like a very quiet one the one that's in the background and it gets whispered it's a very whispered social construct in some households some households are loud about it and they're like very open about it but some of them like mine it was subtle my mom never said she never acted racist you know what i mean my mom had black friends best friends my mom's sister married a black puerto rican man you know what i'm saying it wasn't it wasn't racism out loud, but if your mom doesn't let you date black men, that's racist. I'm sorry, I love her, but she, she, I don't think she's like that anymore. She doesn't care who we date now, but back then we couldn't. So, so that is racist. And so that little tiny seed was planted in me when I was young and it was just planted there, okay? It was, no matter what, no matter what I say, no matter how much I try to hide it, no matter what way I paint it, <laughs> That was planted there, that's real. And that is something that I have been working on throughout the years already. So, you know what I'm saying? And like, I wasn't racist again, like I said, but when she asked me, when she told me that, you know, I was, I thought it was weird at first. Okay, so again, nobody's perfect. And we all need readjustment when it comes to this. And not just about black people, but about all kinds of different people, anybody that looks different different cultures, different religions, different colors of skin, different social class, different sexual orientations, okay? All these things, you know, and I was even watching The Handmaid, Handmaid's Tale. Um, even like your marriage, like your status, you know what I mean? Your relationship status, like if you are a mother and you don't have a husband, like you're a slut. You know what I'm saying? So like, there's so many different ways, guys, to do this. So let's let's just sit back, let's become aware, and let us work on ourselves 
so that we can make a better world. Thank you for listening.